Okay, so walking around in a world you created is a lot of fun, but probably not as fun for anybody else that doesn't have something to click on. So how do you add pop-up prompts or menus that let you do an action? Let's go ahead and uh, make three cubes, make some walls out of this by scaling it down. Mm, thinner, taller. Okay, that's one of our walls. Control C, Control V. It's our third one. This is the actual door. And I'm going to copy this door. And that is going to be our key. Floating in the air. That's the key that we're going to use to unlock this door. And the first thing we're going to do is rename that to key F2. And let's go ahead and make our button with our canvas. If you go ahead and create a UI object button, it'll create a canvas for us. And this is our button. If you open up the button, it has a text object. And here we're going to enter Okay, that should be all set. There's our button right here. I don't know why that doesn't show up. Okay, now we're on our key, we're gonna do our FSM. And I always use like an init state before we start doing our logic. And then from here, we're gonna add an action to start listening. Um, but we're not going to listen for mouse clicks over here. We're just going to go ahead and um, have this finish and go over here. So we can just go ahead and right click and add transition finished. But also in here, we're going to hide that uh, canvas. So if you go to actions, it's called activate. Ac activate game object. And we are going to specify the game object and we are using we're going to hide the canvas so we actually deselect that and we are going to create a new action called listener so we're going to be listening for the uh, collision um, what we need to get there so add a transition oh we already have the finish state so, sorry about that. Oh. And then our listener, we're going to be listening for a trigger event. Oh, before we do that, make sure that our cube, our key cube, has a trigger, which it does not. So, this is important. Go back to our key listener, and we're going to listen for a transition or a trigger. Here, on now on user the user is the key so we don't do need to do anything there and it's on enter so when we actually trigger with the cube we should be all set uh, the collide tag we can set it for the player if the player hits it or we can just drag the third person controller into here and then we want to send an event create a new event and we will call this um, found key and we'll create a new event and then here we're going to create a new event a new state found key and this is empty right now and this doesn't know to call it so we're going to right click add a new transition found key and it adds just the thing so we can wire it up once we actually have an event trigger. 
So found key goes to that. Now it's asking once we have this trigger event, what are we going to do? Well, first thing we need to do is redisplay our canvas. So we can activate our canvas like we did over here in init where we hit it. But let's do this instead, make it quicker. Click that event, that action. We go here and copy it. Control C, Control V, except this time we are going to hide, it. we're going to show it. So if you take a peek right now, no, there it shows the canvas. So let's go back. Okay, that works. Now we have to add the logic for the button once we click it. So we go over to button and this state, we're gonna listen for a button click, action, action. click, UI click on button. We're pointing to itself already. So we know what we're gonna do there. We're gonna send it an event to do some stuff for us. So we'll create a new state. Clicked to open. So the sky, once this button is clicked, event target itself, and we're gonna send the event called Create a new event. Button clicked. Enter. No transition tab yet, so we'll do that. Drag that wire out over here. Okay, now we're gonna click to open. Once this button is clicked, we wanna do some stuff. Uh, click to open. We want to um, either rotate the door open or just Kill it. I'm just going to go ahead and kill it just for this example. Uh, we know how to rotate and animate, but we're just going to destroy the object just so we can get through. Um, it's asking what to destroy. We're going to destroy the door. We're going to copy this also. And also destroy the key. And it should be as simple as that. Okay, everything looks good. Let's go ahead and run it. Ah, there's got to be a way in here. There's got to be a key somewhere. Where is that key? Oh, maybe it's this giant square. Oh, there it is. Unlock the door. The door and the key are now missing. Now you can run, 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 run. Yay. Okay, that's the basics. Um, how to use a trigger with uh, a pop-up menu or a... Uh, a, another dialogue button. Okay, thanks. Bye.